Okay, this is a quick video on a GBL30 and the ACO3 controller. Okay, so basically once you get a new unit, you need to connect up the battery. You need to add fuel. Hopefully the unit does not got air in the system and will start up straight away. If uh, the unit won't start straight away, then it could need bleeding. Get rid of the air out of the uh, fuel lines. Okay, this is Primex ACO3 controller manufactured by Comap in Europe and rebranded for Primex. Okay, so this is the emergency stop. This is the on-off for the controller for the whole unit. This is where the RCD and circuit breakers are as well. Cable either for your LTS panel or else it can also be connected up underneath this area here on the left hand side where there's a uh, entry point for cables so that the cables are not showing on an installation. Okay, this is a European plug which can either be blanked off or disconnected since uh, we don't require European plugs here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to turn this unit on. Unit will come on. Now, there's some features on here. Uh, the access should be engineer, which will allow you to change parameters. If it's user, then uh, the parameters need to, uh, to be changed, uh, which I'll, I'll need to show people. Okay, at this point here, you've got your operations. You've got off, and here you've got your buttons here for mode. You've got manual, you've got auto, and you have test. So basically, if you want to manually start it, put it into manual mode. All you need, all you need to do then is make sure that there's no alarms. If there's any alarms, you need to fault reset. So if I press the emergency stop button now, there'll be an alarm come up on the screen. Even if I pull the emergency stop button out, the alarm will still show up on the screen. That needs to be cleared before you can start the generator or put it back into standby mode. Press fault restart, comes back onto the main screen, press start, two second pre-start delay. And the generator will start. Okay. And then you can scroll through the pages. It'll show you the generator parameters, frequency, the voltages, and also uh, each phase. It'll show you mains if it's connected up to mains, which, which this one is not connected up to mains. Battery volts. It'll show the uh, the inputs and the outputs that are configured onto the actual controller. Which, when you want to configure, you need to be uh, logged on as the engineer on the controller. Okay, some more inputs and outputs. The genset power, the kilowatts power factor, the KVA. Okay, the the hours, the number of starts, all the histories, shutdowns, the energy. You can also configure maintenance, so you can put hours on there when it's due for maintenance. This will give you the alarm list as well too, if there's any active alarms. And back to the main screen, so it's running, uh, power factor, uh, revs, there's no timer at the moment. And this little amp gauge here is the amount of amps that's been pulled from the generator under load. Okay, so when we want to stop the unit, press stop. Then there comes a cooling, cooling delay period, so that when the generator is under load, it needs to shut down. If it's a, if it's a turbo model, they definitely need to be cooled down. Um, so it's a, just a default uh, time of 120 seconds. If it's in manual mode, you can automatically stop it straight away by pressing stop again. And the unit will stop. For safety's sake, if you're not using the unit or doing maintenance, you need to put it in the off position so that you cannot start the generator. I'll press the start button, it won't allow me to. The unit will say not ready. Okay. Even if I press fault reset. Okay, so in the off mode it's the safe mode which doesn't allow the unit to start even if it's connected up to mains. And then once you finish, if it's not on standby, turn the unit off. Only use the emergency stop as exactly what it says for emergencies only. No need to actually stop the unit with emergency unless unless it won't stop via this, which is very rarely. Off position, all done. Just remember too, if it's in manual, 
that the customer needs to remember to turn on the circuit breakers and the earth leakage, depending on the, uh, the way that the unit is set up. In standby applications, if there's, an L, if there's a uh, mains breaker switchboard, uh, that'll have an earth leakage, and you need to disconnect the earth leakage or RCD on the generator side. That's it. That's a uh, GBL 30, brand new unit.